Hello everyone, welcome to our Just Talk. My name is Shawana Rogers, I'm the Diversity and Economic Development Coordinator for the City of Conway. Just Talk is a series um, inspired by Mayor Casselberry just to inform the citizens of Conway of some things that are going on in city government. So I'm excited today to have with us Mr. Jack Bell. He's the director of the Conway Municipal Airport and he's going to talk to us about the airport and their functions on today. So glad to have you joining us. So welcome to Just Talk, Mr. Jack. Thank you, Shawana. So I have a few questions for you. The first question is, tell me a bit about yourself. Um, your position in the city of Conway and the airport. Like, how long have you been with the city? A long time, I know. I've been with the city for a long time. I served on the city council for 23 and a half years. Wow. And then uh, came on, uh, I retired from a previous uh, employment and uh, came on as chief of staff and did that for 12 years. Wow. And I've been at the airport for about a year, a little over a year. Actually, started in March on an interim basis and then became full-time here in uh, August of 2020. And for my opinion, you actually love it out here. Love it's, it out here. It's so it's beautiful, beautiful out here. It's beautiful. It's, uh, we have an amazing staff out here. Everybody was here when I got here. We have a lot of experience here. We have a lot of hardworking people. Awesome. Uh, uh, Tim is our uh, kind of head of operations and he's been in business for his whole career. And then uh, Hunter uh, is a uh, He's been, he's a young guy, he's in uh -huh. college, but he's been doing it for six years, I guess. And then uh, we got Philip, who's our, kind of our maintenance guy, but also does line work too. And then, uh, and then Lloyd's our administrative assistant, and he has uh, got great experience. He's, he's a former IT person and uh, does all that stuff for us and, uh, and keeps up with all the numbers and all that. So, so that's awesome, and it helps when you have a great team. It really does, and especially I came in with very little experience. I've been involved in the uh, in the airport development from City Hall the entire time, and uh, so I, I knew a, a lot about the airport, but not about running an airport. So I'm trying to learn it on the fly. And from my understanding, and I guess the younger generation would say, from what I've been hearing, you've been kicking butt out here. So doing, doing, well. doing, doing pretty well. good. So, I don't know if some people are aware that Conway has an airport or why Conway would have an airport. Tell us what is the significance of the airport or having an airport here in the city of Conway. So, uh, Conway's had an airport since 1928. Those oh, no. business leaders, the chamber people realized that uh, they would need an airport mm -hmm. to do business in, you know. Uh, the first class city needed an airport yes. for business development and, and during the war, uh, our airport was uh, a training grounds for military companies. Oh, really? So they affiliated with uh, UCA originally and then Hendricks mm -hmm. uh, for, the, for the ground training and then they did their training out of the airport. Uh, so a lot of, a lot of uh, World War II pilots uh, were trained in combat at our airport. And, and, uh, so that's kind of a source of pride. Um, I can see how. Yeah, and, and it's still, I mean, the, the, the reason that the airport developed in the first place is still the reason we have an airport. We have business development. Uh, the uh, Conway Development Corporation owns property all around, and their plan mm -hmm. is to develop it uh, as an industrial area, uh, mainly aircraft related. We have two major uh, corporations that have headquarters out there, mm -hmm. and then we have several smaller businesses that operate out there. Awesome. Yes. And they, they fly their, uh, you know, the, the major corporations have. Uh, have uh, business jets, uh, several, and uh, so they fly those. Uh, the other smaller businesses just fly with their, their smaller airplanes, but it's a, uh, and it's just a, a business uh, development area. Uh, we do have a lot of transit uh, business. People come in that have uh, corporations, uh, some international corporations uh, fly in and pick up their personnel. Uh, we had, uh, when, when the uh, energy boom was going on, we had Southwest Energy that flew in every week, brought oh. people in. And, but now we have uh, Green Bay Packaging comes in on a regular basis, Rogers Group and, uh, and others. Uh, and we also have just people coming through and, and buying fuel. It's a very, it's a great location, a safe location. Uh, the, uh, so we do have a lot of transit business that comes through and we are a, a good location, central location. We're easy to get in and out of, and our fuel is reasonable. 
Uh, it, you don't have to get in line to get fuel here, it's like some bigger it's airport. Awesome. So, but anyway, it's it's we bring a lot of business in. Uh, we are uh, entirely uh, self-funding, so our our sale we have a hangers that we'll talk about later, but uh, we get rent from the hangers and the fuel sales is, is our uh, income. So no general funds are spent out. Well, I've learned quite a bit today already. It's like learning some of the history of Conway as it relates to the war and, yeah. you know, pilots being trained here in the city of Conway at the Conway Airport. That is major for, for Conway and for like you were saying, the business leaders to see the need and the significance of creating the airport and just everything that has come out, out of it since the 1800s. That's, that's yep. pretty awesome. Absolutely. So, Jack, can you tell us what is the latest project you all are working on here um, at the airport? Well, our latest project is very exciting. It's something we've needed for a long time. We, uh, we have a new set of tea hangers that are coming in. Uh, you can see over here behind your shoulder, that's our existing tea hangers. We have five okay. sets. They are completely full. Uh, we have, as of yesterday, we have 50 people on the waiting list. So we are in the process of building a new set of tea hangers, a set of 12. I wish we could get 50 more, but uh, they're about a million and a half a piece. And uh, so we'll have 12 new ones. Uh, they should begin construction very soon. Oh, that's awesome. We, uh, the, the FAA will pay for the concrete. They'll mm -hmm. pay for the, the pad around them, and uh, but the airport has to pay for the uh, uh, for the construction of the building. The uh, the Arkansas Division of Aeronautics helps with that. They okay. they uh, gave us a grant of two hundred fifty thousand toward the uh, the million that it's going to cost. So Jack, tell us like what is something significant you would want the public to know as it relates to the airport? I think I'd just like the, the people of the city of Conway to realize. Uh, that they have a, a, a first-class uh, general aviation airport in their city, and, and that we uh, it's really something that they should be proud of. Uh, we do have a lot of visitors that come out just to look. We have a great deal of uh, bicycles. It's a oh, great nice. area, a wide open area for bicycles. We have bike lanes, and uh, a lot of bicycles come. Out. They come by for a cup of coffee or a bottle of water or some popcorn. And, and just to hang out, cool, cool down. So there, there's a lot of people that are aware of it, but like you said, many, many people are not aware of it. That is awesome. So this was exciting. I have learned so much about the airport here in Conway. Um, this brings our just talk session to a close. Thank you all for joining in on today. Um, if you have any questions or there's something significant you would want to know or see on Just Talk here in the city of Conway or learn about, you can send an email to diversity at conwayarkansas.gov and we'll be sure to add it in our notes. And we thank you all for joining us, Jack. Thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us and, and the information and the wisdom that we gained from you on today. Um, you've been with the city of Conway a long time and we certainly appreciate you. Um, I'm new to working with the city of Conway, but I knew Jack Bell before I got here and he's, he's a great guy. And I um, thank you for your hard work for the city. We thank appreciate you, it. So until next time, thank you for joining us.